You're doing really good. For Judy Southern, good. one of the biggest tragedies of her much. husband's Alzheimer's and was not knowing he had the disease strong. until it was too late. By the oh. time she realized what was wrong, he could no longer communicate. An early diagnosis would have helped. Then my husband would have had the opportunity to be engaged also. So we could have had a, a joint discussion. We could have talked about it. A simple test to detect the early stages of Alzheimer's is one of the holy grails of science. I would say that there's a new test invented probably a couple of times a year over the last 10 years. Here's a so far, none has worked. But today in this McGill University lab, researchers unveiled a new candidate, a simple blood test that looks for concentrations of a brain chemical believed to be associated with the disease. I think it would be a turning point in uh, the fight for uh, understand the disease, a treat the disease, but I think we have still some uh, ways to go. The problem is that so much about the disease is unknown. It's characterized by deadly clusters of proteins that develop in the brains of patients, but scientists don't know why. There is no cure, and so far there are no effective treatments to slow it down. There really is a massive uh, interest in finding out the, the causes of these diseases, trying to work out the mechanism, and then generate tests and treatments. An early diagnosis could be important for future therapies, which might work better early in the disease. But right now, a test would raise a difficult question. How soon would someone want to know they have the disease with no cure and not much in the way of treatment? That's a very good point, and many people don't want to know. Um, but, but I think, actually, it is important that you get a diagnosis once things have started to go wrong. I know, darling. I know. Once she saw the early signs, a diagnosis would have been a blessing for both Judy Southern and her husband, giving them time to prepare for the difficult journey okay, ahead. Darling. Kelly Crow, CBC Wendy. News, Toronto. Nice